What if you had a huge floating forest, not growing out over the land, but actually floating on the ocean? Uh -huh. And that these various strange plants that we have in the fossil record, these hollow trees that are designed to, to be light enough to float, what if they make up the center portion, the old portion of the forest, and then you have smaller plants right. designed to to grow out at concentric circles away from uh -huh. it. And I realized that if there was such a thing before the flood, the flood waters with the big waves would begin to destroy the forest from mm -hmm. the outside in. It would first uh -huh. destroy the little guys Sorry. and then the bigger ones and the bigger right. ones and finally destroy the yeah. center portion with the big trees. Mm -hmm. And what that would show underneath the forest, uh, at the bottom here, is you'd first have the little plants right and then the bigger plants and the bigger plants. And you'd have that order. And so when you look at the fossil record of the plants, those 13 groups of plants, it turns out two things. Their design is such that as you go up the column, they're more and more independent of standing water. The ones, the first ones you get need standing yeah. water to reproduce. They actually have sperm and eggs that swim towards each other. And as you go up, you get to drier plants. Mm -hmm. You also go from small plants to big Dang. plants. And the thing that always mystified me about the plants, you find them in marine sediments mixed with marine organisms. 